Hello, it's Firefox 579, um, doing my fifth LEGO Collectible Mini Series review. This time it's on the Vampire. And um, I should be doing at least, at least one or at least two a day. I might be doing three a day because I haven't done them in a while. And yeah, um, and at the end, I'm going to show you my newest and my most favourite custom minifigure. Um, okay. So the vampire. Um, here's the bat. Bat is basic bat. I've got lots of these from Harry Potter. Um, except these are in um, China plastic. So yeah, I'll just show you a look. Yeah, just a quick look. Um, this is one of the best minifigures of the bunch. By that I mean of series 2 and series 1. Except the cape does get a little annoying and it did take a while for me to figure out how to put it on. Um, so yeah, I've got all of them, no no doubles, I nearly got a double. But yeah, um, so I've only got 32 which means I've only got one of every single mini for this out I might not begin series 3 I might I, I just don't know ok so you've had your good look at him there we go well here we go ok so white hands um basic legs Nice new torso. It's quite like a vampire's one. He's got a nice kind of s kind of necklace thing, star with a red night circle thing. It's a nice. I think this might be new hair. It's also on Quarter Kid, which is coming up in like nine videos or whatever. So, um. Around it, around the hair, it looks a bit. I was just wondering this. It looks a bit like Voldemort from Harry Potter. Yeah. So it's a nice hair piece. Really nice. Um, a really cool face as well. I like it. You got the red eyes and the, uh, the cape. I'm gonna show you the cape. Oh yeah, I also want to show you without the cake and that. He looks a bit like a vampire, a bit. So there's the cake, except it's got four of those holes, and this is how it is usually. Except it's really bent now. So yeah, this has also been um. I walks for seven nine doing my um fifth Lego mini review and thank you for watching and goodbye.